abundantly clear that the most unsung heroes of any economy is the SMME ecosystem. In 1996, Vodacom launched its first SMME creation program. From 1996 to 2000, with 6,000 SMMEs across nine provinces. Whilst we might have been slow off the mark in terms of the procurement of tech goods and services by, by SMMEs, one has to also understand where the SMMEs in the tech, in this new tech world. Unfortunately, over time, by 2003, 2005, we saw the eradication of SMMEs across the entire ICT ecosystem. This was a ring fence res reservation for, the, for Europe, the Americas, right? Even China started late. So move forward to when BEE comes into play. We did not wait for a law to happen to realize that no economy can survive unless you place your money behind SMMEs. Not only do because of a letter of a law, but more importantly, and most importantly, the spirit and intent. So when we partner, when we decide where our money is going to go, it's not a partnership because it is a commercial deal. It's not a partnership based on a legislative tool that gets expelled upon us. It is a partner based on synergy, commitment, and passion to always do what is right. About 10, maybe 12 billion rand is what's going to SMME suppliers in a year, by the way. That's not over a decade. During COVID, the one thing that Shamil Joseph, CEO of this great Vodacom Group company, said, no SMME will die on Vodacom's watch. So we have an early payment system. We qualify and SMMEs get paid within five working days from invoice. And he said, I don't care how difficult it will be for us, but this is the one thing we will honor during COVID. And we did. We are truly a South African company, but we can't make that statement if we leave South African economies behind.